Do you believe in the supernatural? I know a lot of us love to argue about the existence of supernatural beings and creatures from other realms, but at the end of the day, it's really just an argument about what you believe in. That all being said, even for the most ardent skeptics, there are some occurrences that are still just a bit too real to be ignored, and one of those instances is demonic possession. Over the years, there have been some truly scary instances of people being seemingly possessed by demons and otherworldly creatures, and many of them have been caught on camera. Today, we'll be looking at 10 of these incredible spine-tingling scenarios. The Exorcism of Gina Our first instance takes us to Wellington, Florida in 1991. In a televised edition of the show 2020, ABC Studios had covered the exorcism of a 16-year-old girl named Gina, who according to spiritual leaders within her community, had actually been possessed by a demon. According to reports, Gina had grown up relatively normal, however as she entered her teenage years, her parents and pretty much everyone around her began to notice that she kept acting weird. She'd be fine one moment, and the next she would completely change her behavior and begin to act erratically to everyone around her. As Gina grew older, this would only become more and more worse, and soon enough her parents had decided that it was time for them to send her to a psychiatrist. In a way, this would help, but Gina was said to have returned with a sense of normalcy. However, her fits of rage and erratic behavior still reared their head from time to time. This was the point where Gina's parents, who had been deeply religious, decided they would take her to their local church to see if they could find any kind of remedy for her behavior. Throw your terror, Lord, over the beast who is destroying what belongs to you. You can clearly see that the calm that Gina had once had changed as soon as the priest placed the crucifix on her, and things only went downhill from there. Send your Holy Spirit into our hearts and our lives, Lord. Send your Holy Spirit into our lives, Lord. The entire thing really seemed like Gina was trapped inside of her own body, being held hostage by whatever spirit was inside of her. And with the priest's help, she pretty much only had a few moments where she could come out and cry for help. However, if there's one thing that exorcism movies have shown, it's that whatever demon is possessing a person usually won't go out without a fight, and in this case, this fight was only just beginning. Gina had literally been tied to a bench because, according to the exorcist, there was a risk that she'd begin levitating until she broke out of the house through the ceiling. And this was apparently no joke. More wars are coming. Is past, or is a watch Do you understand? Night. Watching her go from one emotion to the next was an entire roller coaster. To our Lord Jesus Christ, who poured out his blood for men, give praise to the Holy Spirit who threw the blessed apostle for you. At the end of the day, Gina was able to be calm again, and she was reportedly taken back home where she was placed under close supervision. She gave an interview a few months later where she claimed she was feeling much better, although nobody has really heard from her since. Antoinette's Legion For the next video, we'll be looking at a self-described exorcist named Bob Larson. Larson is a televangelist and the pastor of the Spiritual Freedom Church in Phoenix, Arizona, and he's done several healing and miracle tours all across the United States. While at a stop in Houston, Texas in 2019, he met a woman named Antoinette. The 37-year-old divorced mother of four had come to one of Bob's meetings, claiming that she believed she was possessed by a demon, and according to her, she had been molested as a child and had an aunt who was involved in witchcraft and tarot reading. Antoinette explained to Bob that she believed she was being controlled by Jezebel, the biblical queen of Israel, who, along with her husband King Ahab, had instituted the worship of Baal in Israel when they ruled it. And so, she was essentially coming to Bob for help and to get him to free her of this possession. So in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I confront this evil. I confront this evil. I belong to Christ. I belong to Christ. You see that wriggle around her body? Bob claimed this was because Antoinette had been possessed by a serpent spirit from Africa that was pretty much reacting to the confessions that he was leading Antoinette into. And this is kind of where things take a really dark turn. With the sword of the spirit, I divide soul and spirit, and I'll separate this woman totally from her. If there's one thing that we should know about these demons by now, it's that they'll never leave their host bodies without a fight. 
And when it came to Antoinette, let's just say this demon, whatever it may have been, came prepared for a showdown. Are you just The entire thing led to what appeared to be a roll call as Bob began listing the different demons within her body. Bob and the different demons in Antoinette's body went on a back and forth that lasted a few moments, but in the end he was able to get them out of her, and he blessed her with some anointing oil, and that was pretty much that. Demon on Aisle 4 Whenever you go into a supermarket or a store, you probably already have an idea of what to expect. Perhaps you see a few people trying to pick out items they want to get, or maybe you see them moving toward the checkout to get their stuff and make payments for them. What about this scenario, though, in which a woman appeared to have been literally possessed as she shopped for a few items? Back in 2016, this footage came out of a CCTV camera at a supermarket in China showing a moment when a woman appeared to have been possessed by an evil spirit of some kind. The clip begins normal. The woman was moving calmly along the shopping aisle, picking items and examining them, when all of a sudden, this happened. As you could imagine, the lady close to her immediately became concerned by what she was seeing and tried to help. But all of that only made things worse, as the seemingly possessed lady began letting out some seriously dangerous shrieks. Personally, I don't care what anyone has to say. If I'm in a store and a woman begins to behave like this, I am out of there in a flash. But the people who were around the lady appeared to be much more brave than I am, and they instead rallied around her to at least try and calm her down, and it didn't necessarily help things. At this point, you would think that she had finally chilled out and was off of whatever funk she was in, but no, it was only the opening salvo. The other store visitors were able to get her stable and move her out of there, but I've got to say, if I was here, I don't think I would go shopping there again. Weird Baby Possession Here's the interesting thing about demon possession. It really doesn't matter who you are or what age you are. Anyone can become possessed by a demon. Apparently, even babies are not safe from these dastardly creatures. Out of 2016, this next video takes place in the home of Chuck and Kate Booth in the United States. Chuck and Kate had just welcomed a little bundle of joy named Connor, and just like every other parent in the country, they doted after the little boy day and night. As you would expect, they had installed nanny cams in and around the room so that they could watch him remotely, but one night they got an absolute scare when they heard some noises coming from his room. The next day, Chuck and Kate checked out the nanny cam footage, only to find little Connor doing some not-so-baby-like things. Now, the entire thing kind of seemed like Connor was just being a restless child, but things took a turn for the darker when he literally climbed on the edge of his crib. It was just for a moment, but I think you can agree with me that for those few seconds, this baby boy was not normal. What was with that weird shriek that he gave and the color of his eyes? What's the deal with that? Oh, and we've not even gotten to the most weird part of it all. The fact that Connor, a child who was probably only a few months old, literally balanced on the edge of his crib without holding anything and maintained that position for well over half a minute. Surely that could not have been just because the boy had perfect balance out of the womb, now could it? Thankfully, baby Connor was unharmed, and when the clip came out, it immediately caused a firestorm online, with many people claiming that it was fake. But Chuck and Kate were adamant that there was no doctoring going on. I'm no expert at parenting, but if this clip really is true, these guys may want to take little Connor to a priest. Sleeping Victim Apart from the fact that literally anyone can get possessed regardless of their age group, demonic possession appears to not be a respecter of what you're doing as well. We already saw a woman get possessed while shopping at a supermarket, but now let's see a situation where a boy appeared to have gotten possessed by a demonic spirit while sleeping. 
This next footage would be taken in early 2020, showing two siblings sleeping at home, and it appears that there was a security camera in the room or something, and that was how we managed to get this footage. Anyways, everything seemed fine at first. The siblings were sleeping peacefully, when all of a sudden, the boy got up and was just kind of static. That motion is enough to give anyone the chills, but it does get worse. After the boy went back to sleep for a few moments, he then gets up again, only this time, he literally begins banging his head on the wall that's close to him. At that point, the noise from the head banging woke his sister up, and you can just imagine the look of horror on her face when she saw her own brother doing harm to himself while not even being aware of it. This was really a weird thing to witness, and if I were in the sister's shoes, I would be out of the room quickly, shouting all the way for someone to help me out. Still though, she stayed with her brother, even after he began pointing to somewhere that we know absolutely nothing about. Yeah, you can imagine just how horrified the guy's sister must have been at that point. And the crazy part was that when she tried to wake him up again, he only needed a few moments to be back to normal. So, you mean to tell me that after everything the sister saw, she just went back to bed and didn't bother? There's absolutely no way in hell that I would have been that calm after all this. After witnessing it, I would run to my parents and demand that we sleep in separate rooms from now on. Father Gabriel's Last Exorcism Have you seen the film The Pope's Exorcist? The film, which stars Russell Crowe, tells the story of Father Gabriel Amorth, an Italian priest who specialized in exorcisms. Father Gabriel was such a prolific exorcist that he was pretty much nicknamed the on-call exorcist that the Pope would call whenever there was a major demonic possession and he was one of the founding fathers of the International Association of Exorcists. In this clip, we see the very final exorcism that he ever performed. Here, we get to see a woman named Christina, who claimed that she had been suffering several attacks over the years. She claimed that her attacks had been especially severe on dates that had significant links to Jesus Christ. Doctors and psychiatrists had failed to help her out, and being the devout Catholic she was, she decided to seek help from the Pope's exorcist. The exorcism begins pretty calm, with the father blessing Christina with holy water and beginning this session. But as everyone was calm and the father prayed for Christina, it did not take long before whatever demon that was inside of her began to manifest itself. Here, we're really just in the beginning of the journey. As the father continued to pray for her, Christina's demon only became more agitated. <laughs> and so on and on it went. As it looked like Father Amorth was beginning to calm things down, the demon in Christina only revved up his engines even more. It was pretty clear that this was a battle between Christina and whatever demon was in her, and even though the father's prayers were strong, the demon just would not give up. Now, I'm no expert in Italian, but I'm pretty sure Satana stands for Satan. Anyways, the entire exorcism lasted for about a half an hour, and the father was finally able to get the demon out of Christina's body. Possession at the Store You know, I've got to say that before putting this video together, I never really had any qualms with going to a convenience store and searching out stuff that I wanted to buy. But I think it's safe to say that I'll definitely want to keep an eye out going forward because I have no idea what the heck is happening with people these days. This next clip was taken in 2011, showing the moment when a man in a convenience store, I'm not sure what country it is, suddenly becomes possessed by what I can only assume is a restless demon. The clip pretty much begins normal. We have CCTV footage that shows people going on about their day, and the guy was apparently trying to get something from the refrigerator at the store. But almost as soon as he touched the fridge's handle, the spirit just got a complete hold of him. As soon as the guy was engulfed, it was pretty much on. He began fidgeting and shaking around the place, and it was like he had absolute zero control over his own body. Uh. 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 
He did seem to be trying to fight off the spirit that possessed him, but as we all know, this hardly ever ends well. And if you don't have other people trying to help you, or maybe a priest trying to set you free, you're pretty much on your own when it comes to demonic possessions. And for this guy, there was absolutely no help in sight. <coughs> to take things even more diabolical, this guy eventually fainted and the spirit inside of him decided to show off. Now, I get the fact that the spirit was able to overpower the guy, but was it really necessary to knock down the other items? What if someone else came and picked them up and started to fidget as well? Some spirits really do have a mean streak, now don't they? I don't know what happened to the guy after the recording, but I sure hope that he was okay. Calling the Demon have you ever seen a Ouija board before? Some people claim that these boards are really ways to communicate with paranormal beings, while others generally believe the concept of communicating with a demon or otherworldly creature from another dimension through the boards is obvious malarkey, probably because it was made by a board game company and was never really a symbol of anything that had to do anything with any of this. Whether through movies or myth, Ouija boards have become especially mythical, and as you can imagine, a lot of people have tried to see whether these boards are the real deal. Needless to say, the results have been mixed. Now, while some people have claimed that they've used Ouija boards and didn't notice anything, others say that they have felt a presence, and this is one case of the latter. Apparently, a few friends got a Ouija board and decided to mess with it a little bit. Hey. Okay, so... You ready, guys? I'm ready. Everything seems to be going well, and after finding initial success with the board, the friends decided to probe even further and ask what the board's name was. And this is where things start to get a little bit weird. Z -O -Z -O. The confirmation of the board's name apparently triggered one of the girls, and let's just say she didn't react as one would hope that she would have. <laughs> At the end of the day, I feel like the argument surrounding Ouija boards will continue to rage, but after seeing stuff like this, I'm not really sure what to feel about them. I think I'll just steer clear from now on, because the last thing I want is to mess with these things and end up spazzing on camera. The Pope's Miracle When it comes to Christianity in general, nobody holds as much sway as the Pope seen by many as the head of the Catholic Church and pretty much the number one figure in modern Christianity, the Pope has had so much power and influence, and much of that is due to the fact that he's perceived to be an incarnation of the Holy Spirit himself. If you think about it, in a world where billions of people are Christian, the Pope is one of the most popular men on the planet, and part of this popularity is due to the fact that a lot of people believe in his ability to perform a miracle. Every year, millions of people pay visits to the Vatican in hopes of finding the Pope and having him bless them. And as long as Christianity and Catholicism remains one of the biggest religions in the world, this is only expected to continue. A few years ago, one clip would surface out of the Vatican that really had people on their toes. Here, we see the Pope moving around and administering his usual blessings, when all of a sudden he stops by what appears to be a man in a wheelchair. The moment that this clip became known, it got a lot of people talking. Some people believed it was proof of the Pope's ability to perform an exorcism and that this was one of many instances where the pontiff was literally in action. But others, including the Vatican itself, claimed that all the Pope was doing was sharing blessings and performing his regular duties. Now, I know that exorcisms generally don't look like this. There's usually a lot of banging and noise and hysteria that surrounds it. But can you really put it past the scenario to be an exorcism? Honestly, I don't think that you can. The Laughing Victim Considering that this is a video that talks about demonic possession, I decided to save the craziest for last. A few years ago, a worker at a hospital in Brazil shared this clip, and it pretty much broke the internet. According to the person who posted it, the guy had suffered a gunshot wound and would be rushed to the hospital for treatment. However, at the point when healthcare workers began trying to resuscitate him, he suddenly jumps up and begins laughing. As you can imagine, the video caused a bit of a firestorm, 
Everyone had their theories, like the guy may have been on some kind of illegal substance, perhaps he was an actor, you name it. But the person who posted the clip has been adamant in his claims that this was completely real and that it was not doctored. You might think that just laughing was all he did, but at some point, the guy literally began talking, and even that was weird, as you could imagine. Now, possessed or not, I don't think I've ever seen someone suffer a gunshot wound and end up behaving like this. From his unpredictable laugh to the intensity in his speech, there's just something off about the way the guy was behaving that I literally can only have one theory for. The guy had to have been possessed by something that we don't know about. The video doesn't show what ended up happening to the guy, but I will say this. If I was a worker at that hospital, there's no way I would continue working here by the time I saw something like this happening. The moment the clip surfaced, I would file my resignation right then and there. Whether you believe in them or not, there's a lot of evidence to show that demons really do exist. These otherworldly beings have been recorded for centuries, and if these videos are any indication, they're still very much alive today. But what do you think? Have you ever seen someone display signs of demonic possession? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed so that you get more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.